Prior to watching this video, you may have learned how to retrieve user input from the terminal using functions such as scanf for integers, getchar for a character, and fgets for strings. These are all ways for getting user input when the program runs. Now in this video, we will learn about another way to retrieve input for a program, specifically via what we call command line arguments. So far, when we want to feed input into a program, we will first run the program, then at some point during its execution, it will ask user for input. What if you would like to know some information from the user prior to the execution of the program? For example, if you would like to know whether the user likes the color red or blue so that you can display all outputs in their favorite color. Command line arguments allow us to feed inputs into the program before it is executed. So what is a command line argument? You have actually already seen and used command line arguments for quite a few weeks. Every time you compile your program by running DCC, you are passing values from the command line as arguments into the program DCC. They are simply things we type in immediately preceding a program name when we run a program on the terminal. For example, when we run a program by doing dot slash program on our terminal, in this case, there are no command line arguments. Now, when we run a program by doing dot slash program space hello space i space love space comp1511, we have four command line arguments. Specifically, hello, I, love, and comp1511, where the arguments are separated by spaces. These command line arguments are passed into our program as arguments of the main function. We can retrieve them by changing int main void of our main function to become int main int argz char argv where argc is an integer which represents the total number of command line arguments plus one to include the program name, and argv is an array of null terminator strings where each string represents one command line argument typed in by the user of our program and the program name as the first string. Using our previous example of dot slash program hello I love comp one five one one argc would have the value of 5, and argv would contain an array where the first element, that is argv0, is the program name, argv1 is hello, argv2 is i, argv3 is love, and the last element, argv4, is comp1511. Now, by definition, a string is an array of characters, so an array of strings will be an array of array of characters which is a 2D array of characters. This means that argv can also be interpreted as a 2D array of characters where argv00 would be the full stop, argv32 would be the character v of the word love. Now that we have an understanding of what command line arguments are and how to retrieve them in our program, Let's try to write a program which prints out every string of the command line arguments provided by the user, each on a new line. Let's start small by assuming that the command line arguments from the user will be hello, I love comp1511 from the previous example. Since we know that argv is an array of strings that will contain what the user types in as command line arguments, we can simply go through and use printf to print out each element in argv line by line. Now, because every element in argv is a string, we will use the percentage %s placeholder. We also want to add a new line at the end of each element we print out. Now let's try and save, compile, and run this program we have.
we can see that everything we typed in on the command line is being printed out. This is argv0, this is argv1, argv2, argv3, argv4. Now remember that we only want to print out the command line arguments. So argv0 containing the program name should be omitted. Now this program prints exactly what we want for the command line arguments of hello, I love comp 1511. But we're not done yet. This code has been written with the assumption made on what the command line arguments the user will type in are. What happens if they don't type in any command line arguments? Or what happens if they want to type in more command line arguments than we expect? We need to write code that adapts to varying number of command line arguments. So instead of using a fixed number of printfs, let's change our implementation to a while loop, which will loop through our argv array to print out each element. So first, I am going to create a counter i that will start counting from one since we know that argv1 is the first command line argument. And I want to count i up to our argc value, which is the total number of elements in our argv array. Once we have this, for every single iteration of this loop, I would like to print out the current command line argument that is argvi. So in short, this loop will go through and print out each command line argument on a new line. Now, if I save, compile, and run this program with no arguments, we can see nothing will be printed out. Now, if I run this program again with the arguments of I love comp 1511, all these arguments will be successfully printed out. Hello, comp 1511 is the best course ever will also print successfully. Let's now try to extend this program we have so that we print out each character of every command line argument on a new line. We know that this loop we have right now goes through every single command line arguments and prints them out each as a string on a new line. Now all we have to do is replace line 16 where the printf of a string happens with a while loop that will go through each character in the string of argvi. So first, I'm going to declare and initialize another counter j. This counter is dedicated to going through each character in a specific command line argument of argvi. As for the condition of the loop, we are going to leave that to the end. Within the loop, we want to add a printf to print out each character using the percentage %c placeholder. And because we want it to be on a new line for every single character, we add backslash n. 
Now, the character we want to print resides in R V I J, where I is the row number and J is the column number of our 2D array. As for the condition, we look back at the diagram of the 2D array for RV. Every single string in RV ends with a null terminator. So our condition in this case would be while RV IJ is not equal to the null terminator. As the null terminator will indicate the end of a particular string in RV. Let's go over what we have just done to extend our program. The outer loop goes through each of our command line argument. And we have replaced the printf which was originally in the outer loop with an inner loop that is dedicated to going through each of the character of our argvi command line argument. And we print them out each on a new line. Now let's save this code and compile it and run it to see whether we have the desired outcome. So now if I run the program with hello, I love comp1511, we can see that every single character of our command line arguments has been printed out each on a new line. To summarize, command line arguments is another way to retrieve input for our program and it's particularly useful when we require the information before we start executing the program. argc is an integer representing the number of command line arguments plus one and argv is an array of null terminator strings containing the program name and all the command line arguments. We can use this information and loop through the array just like any other arrays we have encountered before.